You know, I find it so incredible that one of the top reasons I hear from people why they don't paint anymore or do their music or whatever it might be is because they don't know what to play or what to paint or what to draw or what to cook. And I think that's the lamest excuse ever. It's an excuse that I've used many times, so I speak from experience. Um, and I think what a great uh, way to start is just start with nothing. Start with a scribble, start with some wiggles, start with a fluorescent greenish yellowish circle. Start anywhere and just see what happens. And um, sometimes that turns out well and sometimes that turns out completely disastrous. But either way, you can look back and be like, hey, I just painted when I had no ideas what I was going to do. And that's a great way to set yourself up for a win. You may not have a win with your painting or with your song or with your dance or with your whatever, but you'll have a win that you did it. You did the thing that seemed overwhelming. You started somewhere. You ended up somewhere else. One of the great things about doing quick improvised type paintings or any sort of creative work is that there's a definitive beginning and a definitive end. You kind of go into it knowing that this is not going to last forever. You're going into it just kind of noodling around, just sort of riffing and seeing what happens. Just doing it like you did when you were a kid. You didn't pick up your crayons and say to yourself, hmm, what should I create today? I must create a masterpiece. So I will sit around with my crayons for the next four weeks and not touch my crayons until I have the perfect idea. No, we don't do that. We pick up our paintbrushes or our pencils or our saxophone or whatever your thing is and you just start messing around with it. And when you do that, you tell the universe that you are a willing participant. You tell the muse, you tell the spiritual guides that are guiding your paintbrush or whatever your thing is you're telling god or spirits or you're talking to yourself and you're setting yourself up for being a contestant on the time is right step right up grab your stuff it's time to create anyway here's what i painted started out with a yellow circle pretty much because i had a bunch of yellow paint left over from my afternoon painting session and uh it seemed like a really weird funky greenish yellowish color that didn't really belong in uh in, i don't know in, in this kind of a painting but it worked out great i think and um i just started there i just said this is the light source and it's a circle and let's see what comes around it i really like the idea of yellow and purpley colors kind of vibrating off of each other those are complementary colors. They freak your eyeballs out because they are opposite on the color wheel and kind of kind of trippy. And um, yeah, so here it is. I um, had a frame that I distressed by hand and had it sitting next to me. And this painting, as planned, fit right inside of it. And I uh, hope you guys like it. I hope you have an amazing day. Here's the finished piece. Lots of love to you.